Hey! Come down through and see if you can do a power break. It gets about nine months per chain. Well, the brakes work. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. You don't hold the brake while you're pushing the gas. Yeah, I am telling you that. I know. Okay, so go into the corner, okay. and just as you start to turn the corner, let off the gas, slam the brake, and then punch the gas to get it to come sideways. Okay. I don't know if you have enough horsepower to do it, but we'll try. Just a regular propane tank, nothing special. That's how you restore the power wheels plastic. We started this build when I was five, but now I'm nine and I've been getting better. So I think it's time for a seat swap. So what's the idea with the seat here? I've been getting bigger, so when I've been getting bigger, my knees are hitting on this, my knees were hitting on the shifter, and, and I was getting really tall, which 
we, we want to go ice racing with this and and doing like corners and stuff with the, the being ice and me go, going at, at fast speeds could have it flip over and, and have myself get injured so so we're going to be dropping the seat and we're going to make the seat way much more bigger besides that since that's smaller and, and we're going to dangle this with the steering wheel so then this comes down since if I if we have it like this, I'm going to be I'm going to be looking on the seat like this. Okay. So the first goal is drop the seat as far as we possibly can, mm -hmm. without having to miss without having to mess with the shifter. There, I can't talk either for this video. Before we start building up the frame in order to be able to put the seat in, I figured I'd show this. So right here is the lever, and if I move the lever, that would be reverse. That would be neutral all the way down through all five gears and then back up through and that should be neutral. This is a transmission out of a Murray, which is why it has this extended shaft coming out of the shifter. You really could build this exact same assembly in order to do just about any transmission. On the inside there is just the shifter linkage top that's been welded on the inside of this square piece so that I can put the bolt in in order to hold it in place. Like I said, there's the drive coupler that goes up through. There is a centrifugal clutch that runs down to a gear and then runs the drive shaft to the transmission. And this is just a regular pull for brakes right here, attached to the brakes back there. So are you going to sort it all out? I don't know. It's, it's your power wheel. It's my power wheel. It's only mine when you break it. Hey, right, we'll be back with my power wheel. <laughs> Tomorrow we got to put the ice spikes into it, but John wanted me to show you what we did in order to make it so that everything's all set. So this has been moved down and into the frame. This has been moved six inches back. We've cut out in order to go and use that. Um, this actually acts as structural in these. So if you don't have this, you need to make sure to put some sort of bar in across here. Otherwise, the whole thing just folds out and acts like a bad taco. And this won't stay in if you don't have something bracing it from one side to the other. Eventually, what I'll do is I'll put a piece of metal underneath here and a bar on the inside and then to a piece of metal. We also upgraded some grip on the two-hole punch gas pedal. And we pulled the brake a little bit further um, closer to him so he can reach it while he's sitting and not have to lean forward. And what do you think? You ready to go test drive? Yes! Okay. <laughs> 